1969, the Minnesota River, it flows across southern Minnesota. It comes up, it's a tributary to the Mississippi River. And yeah, there it is right there. So if you come down, it's right up there where you see Big Stone Lake. And that was the outlet of Glacial Lake Agassiz, which was this gigantic inland freshwater sea that was left over from the melting of the glaciers. And it burst out catastrophically right there at Big Stone Lake. And it, it's called Big Stone Lake because if you go there, there's these big old stones sitting out in the field randomly. And you go, okay, how'd these stones get there? It was the summer of 1969. There was a place called Flying Cloud Airport at Eden Prairie. At Eden Prairie, there was bluffs overlooking the Minnesota River Valley. You see the river? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now go a little north of the river and you're going to see, an right there, you see the embankment? Yes. Okay, that's an embankment that's about 200 to 250 feet high. Where that red dot is, if you go just to about maybe 2 o'clock, it's 1969. I'm standing up on top of the bluff and I'm looking at the river down below me and I see that river and then I look beyond the river and if you go south of the river you're going to see another set of bluffs. I was standing there looking and I had this epiphany and the epiphany was as I'm looking down at the modern Minnesota River and it's in its channel and then I'm standing up on these bluffs and I'm looking at I could see another set of bluffs three miles away and I had this epiphany which was that God, is this, am I looking into the, a giant river valley here? 